Dota what JP we're playing right now, I assume. Uh, Kev's and losers. That's surprising. Guess he lost the words. Oh, so. Dude, oh <laughs> you literally neutral get up every single time. Yeah, I know. Single time every single time I play against you in bracket, I always neutral get up and you fail to punish it. Because <laughs> it's literally unpunishable. Yeah, well, like, it's, it's literally, you here. It's literally yeah. RNG, and I never get it. <laughs> um, to be fair, you probably have to be really wary of uh, Loft and Dumb. Uh, Osprey's kind of trying his best to stay away from uh, Rest Eve here. Gets clipped by the Nair, hits a fair, but doesn't really get much more off of it. I feel like the really scary part about playing against Rose Beef is punish games. It's yeah, pretty strong. Yeah. So if you, if you don't respect it enough, he'll, he'll get you with it. And then, like, um, Osprey is already down 70%. Has it even gotten a hit? Yeah, and I feel like. Oh, oh and he gets right. clipped. Rose Beef got a, a really dominant first stock, only took 1.7%. Oh, That's just that was because that's basically a zero death. Zero death. And uh, just, it's looking really rough for Frostbite here. Obviously, he's playing Wario, so he has the the Waft oh comeback right here. But I don't know, it is. You really have to ask yourself if Frost Beef is gonna really let him get it on him with the way he's been playing. Um, I mean, seems like Frostbite just really can't get anything started here, and Frost Beef is just going in on him. Oh, Frostbite gets it once. started here. Get sixty percent on him already. Oh, he gets the F smash on the side beat. That was a good. That was a good F smash. He, he, he understood what he was going for. He was like, "I'm not letting you do that." But even then, Frostbite is still down a pretty significant amount of percent here. So he has to get something started. I know um, Loft is gonna be. Goes for the bike very soon. He goes for that a lot. I think. Um, oh, he gets the bite off on the ledge. I guess maybe Rosby thought he was gonna stop. Ooh, down smash into side B. Doesn't kill, but gets good damage and puts Wario in the air. What? <laughs> Dude, this is one of the worst game I've ever played. This is a really so scary bullshit. Oh, That's but... actually bullshit. Ryan, it goes on like, the I actually don't know what's going on. on. Like, I just want to make up closes out that stock. 42% on roast beef here. Um, Frostbite's definitely have a dead yeah, end. Because he has so block. Um, I guess his priority in this situation would be either... Close out the stock as early as possible and get the block kill, or just go for it now and then try and fight him out the last stock. <laughs> but, um, Ryan's already racking up the percent here, making it look rough. <laughs> You'll have to wonder if Frostbite might consider switching his uh -huh. character. Considering... Oh, no, we live in. Ooh, he gets the walk, but no kill. Yeah, so that's probably going to hurt Frostbite a lot, considering he's already down by so much and lost his. Comeback mechanic. Um, well, he gets the down tilt and gets the up smash. Doesn't kill, but still good damage. Dude, there's literally no First way that this is happening. There. Oh, goes for the down air off stage. Misses it, but good bike recovery there. Um, I guess he decided that obviously he's down by so much, he might as well Should go for kill. it. Yeah. Jeez. Dude, that up smash was so bullshit. I did not deserve that at all. I was below the platform entirely. Uh, good. Holy good. shit. Oh, good recovery back up at the stage. Alright, what are your bands? Yeah. Maybe it's too uh, good. Too FD and Lilac. Gets another right. grab. Ledge. Seems like. Alright, switch characters. Alright, uh, right, I'll run it back. Goes to the world this time. Oh, whatever. This is so <laughs> bad. I don't care how this goes. Oh. Uh, Roast Beef is definitely trying to close out the stock and not give uh, Frostbite a chance to, to make his comeback. But uh, oh, Frostbite gets the back air, and it's a 167% deficit against nothing. Uh, Damn it. I want a chain to go on when you two. Or, uh, confirm or something that just completely destroys. Oh, what? What? Wow. That was. Oh my god, that was such a oh, gee, that that great comeback. Too small. Wow. Oh my god. That's actually cruel. That F smash just completely erased any deficit that Frostbite had there. Yeet you have to really wonder what, what Roast Beef is thinking now. Yo, wait, Obviously, he smashed a huge lead going into that game. Yo, uh, Y'all see, see Roast Beef throw that shit, bro? He threw that shit so hard. He did. Yeah, no, Frostbite bad. just... Oh, had a beat on that, was real, like, that was really unfortunate. He, he had that. That was, that was really, really good by Frostbite. 
That was good by Fox. He, he, made, he made that decision. He, he, he knew he was panicking. Was I think, think, just, like, I think Roast Beef was a little scared of the fact that uh, Wall <laughs> was about to be back online, and he, he kind of was just looking for a quick escape out too of much the... Respect. Yeah, he gave he gave Frostbite a little too much respect there. Frostbite was able to call him out with that forward smash. Yeah, Frostbite really made him pay for it in that situation. So, first first game, Frostbite <laughs> started off with a really really uh, dominant stock, but Frostbite somehow managed to even things up. They're going to Northern Cave this time. That's going to completely uh, affect the rest of this uh, that year. Yeah, that's for sure. You're going to be asking yourself if uh, Rust Beef had won that first game, how this would look like. But, um. This time they're going to Northern Cave, which is interesting because um, I guess maybe Roast Beef just doesn't like the platforms in the middle there and prefers them on the, the ledges. But uh, Frostbite, uh -oh. he's been going off stage for those days. Um, good recovery though, so as long as he makes sure he has his bike beforehand, he can definitely go out for those. And if uh, Roast Beef isn't careful, he can just suddenly get ended there. It gets a side B. Um, I know Roast Beef likes to deal with those a lot. You have to be really wary of them. Oh wow, he could have really gotten something started there. Um, I know. Oh, I feel like Roast Beef has really lapped out those air drag downs into uh, S smash combos. Goes for the up smash. Doesn't. I mean, he went for it way too early. Roast Beef didn't hold into it. I was Ooh. genuinely shocked. Oh my! He gets the arrow gun. Wait, that but, was um, that was kind of that was kind of close. But uh. Frostbite evens it up almost immediately with a nice back air. It's another one, and this isn't a good situation for Rusty. He's off stage. I mean, even if he's at low percent, but uh, he manages to get back, and now he's really oh. hammering away, hammering away at uh, Frostbite here. Frostbite um, got a jump there. He could have done something. Unfortunately. Yeah. But uh. Are you, about 30 seconds till Waft comes back online, so I feel like... Oh, Bruce hey, Bobo! Dude, what are these sour spots? Oh, hey! If he can't, can yeah. As much as he can. Because like, once Waft comes off. online, he really has to respect Damn, it. Sorry, oh, that was an interesting one. One, one. Last fight. Oh, uh, no a board smash! There, if Roast Beef had been aware that he was not gonna go to the ledge. But, uh, I guess he really it's just hit the Roast Beef with the mix-up. Roast Beef gets the up smash underneath the platform. Uh, he likes going for those a lot. I feel like there have been so, a lot of missed opportunities it. by Roast Beef just because he's been a little too little too cautious, a little too safe. Yeah, and now Waft is online here, so you really have to give it respect. And unlike last game, this is this is, this is is not a, a blowout by any means. And yeah, this... Frostbite gets another nice back air over there, really just uh -oh. catching uh, Roast Beef's jump. And now we have Waft time. And yeah, this is, now this is really it's gonna scary. be dangerous for Roast Beef. He really has to respect it because it can just close out his stock. Oh, he's already got 55 on him. You know, you know Frostbite's going for it. He's fishing. Oh, he hits the up tilt into Waft. You all the nerf? The kill. Yeah, it's probably the nerf. Man, remember when we but, had um, that idea to do like commentary? And he's got a channel? That was good weird. amount of damage already set what up. What a weird on, phase uh, we went Roast Beef here. <laughs> And Roast Beef is trying to make his comeback now that he no longer has to really worry as much about Waft, but um, ah, Frostbite games. is only going to be looking yes. to uh, close it out here. And, oh, you know, that, that not last is going to live in my head for a while. <laughs> but, um, about a 60% deficit for Roast Beef here, but uh, he's trying to make it work, so uh, let's see what he does. Frostbite's oh. really using his maneuverability here to kind of dance around RB a bit. Uh, Does he have Waft? He goes for the oh. dare. Yeah, he's got a medium Waft. He's got another back air. I feel like Frostbite just uses his back air to close out almost all of the rest of these stocks. That game. Well, he but, put uh, up a good fight, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you really have to wonder if most people go back to Northern Cave. Or <gasps> they're going back to Northern Cave. Cave. Because, um, I'm, okay, so he's going back. Bro, I, mean, he I just, just lost on this counter. The Jigglypuff neutral B and he died at like 50. <laughs> Jeez. Yo, are we playing some uh, uh, code words hmm. later? Sure. I think it's interesting because well, we're still going to be talking about that first game because RB had such a huge lead there. Yeah. Even, even now on his counter pick, he's already lost once. 
Yeah, you're, you really have to ask yourself. Oh my really god! <laughs> you really must have taken this game stage. No, I, I'm not sure what else ended up ending. We can, we can probably check actually. Um, let's see here. Frostbite fans, FB, and small battlefield. So maybe he just doesn't like those two stages a lot. So I guess maybe Recipe thought Northern Cape was his best. Oh, what? That was a interesting hit from the FB Wario. Uh oh. But um. Oh wow, he got him in that offstage situation and manages to make the recovery. You would have thought he was dead with his drift, but he definitely knew where he could recover Ooh. from the spike. Mm. Got a few bites on him already. <laughs> Actually, racking up that damage now. Man, Wario with the lead is still always so scary. Just yeah, because really he has, to ask Sorry. has the, the snowballing mechanic of what? <laughs> oh, that was that was a good arrow game from Rose Beef though. He's really been yeah, using arrow pitch game. arrows to kind of attack Wario's recovery when. Uh, he can't really go off stage as much for it. That's good by him, but now he's in the corner against Frostbite here, and manages to get out pretty easily. Um, oh, back throw and back throw definitely won't kill. He goes for the bike. That was interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what Frostbite was thinking about going for there. If Frostbite or if uh, RB could get like a night nice stream right here, or a game from that would be really good for him. Yo, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Can you add my score? Oh, wow. Wow. Missed that down tilt. What's the score? Because you would have uh, thought that he would have been able to land it. Um. Ooh, Frostbite goes for another bike. This is looking pretty rough for Rust Beef now that Frostbite's closed up the stock with the F tilt at ledge. And uh, WAP is online now, so this is this is a really dangerous situation here. And uh, Frostbite is just rolling around on the bike and uh, not really much RB has really done to stop it. I'm gonna be honest, I think a stage that doesn't promote interacting isn't good against Wario. I'm not yeah, trying, just... um, definitely oh, oh, no. letting him not have to deal with you as much is probably not the greatest idea. Oh, goes for the waft and whiffs it just barely. Um, gotta, gotta think about those nurse. You're crazy that he's beating him with such a bad character. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I know a lot of warriors don't really like him online. I know Flightless definitely doesn't. Flightless isn't a warrior. Um, yeah. Flightless doesn't play Wario, bro. Oh, he's he's really fishy for that downer game, but he, he just can't get it. Frostbite is at 140, 150 now, and, it's, and he's giving RB a lot of trouble closing up the stock here. Goes for the jump off stage, gets hit, but. Doesn't get a kill. Oh, goes for the arrows. But, um, oh, gets the back air. That's pretty nice. But, um, this is, a, this is an 80% deficit for Rose Beef. So, obviously, if he gets a good string going here with these nares, he, can, he might be able to get something started, but you really have to wonder what, how much he can really do here. Come on, I think. And, uh, well, I guess I Rose Beef is going to answer that question now. He's already got 50 on him. Hasn't really taken too, too much damage. Just gets clipped by the dare. Ooh, goes for a risky side B and gets hit by the F kill. Ooh. Oh, wow, that was, oh, shit. that was pretty scary. Crossbite went down for the dare and then basically caught him on his way back up with the up B. That was really smart, actually. Really just make sure there was a hitbox out there at all times. And uh, I guess Rose Beep wasn't really expecting it either. But, um, 57, 139. Oh, and he gets hit by the dash attack. Okay. It's over. So, oh, shit, after that, after that was a really interesting first game, and I feel like after that, I really kind of killed Rosby's momentum there.